What's up guys, Alec here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can easily and quickly crop any of your videos to any social media platform's correct aspect ratio. So if you're a social media content creator, I'm pretty sure you know that cropping your videos to the correct aspect ratios of different social media platforms can be quite a pain. But here I'm gonna show you how you can take one video and easily crop it to any social media platform within seconds. And the way we're gonna be doing this is using a tool called veed.io. Now this is a in-browser tool, so there's no downloads necessary, and I'm just gonna show you straight away on my computer. Okay, so here I'm on my computer and the first thing I'm going to do is just head over to veed.io. Once I'm on their website, I'm going to click on new project or the upload button if you haven't yet created an account. And here the upload button is going to show up and what you can do is just select the video that you want to crop. So I'm just going to select this one. This is a test video that I made earlier. And once your video has uploaded, first of all, you can just quickly name it. So I'm going to call this video one for let's say Instagram. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say for Instagram feed, video one for Instagram feed. Here I'm gonna select the canvas size and I'm gonna choose square because I'm gonna be posting it on Instagram. What a lot of people do nowadays though is they change it to the four by five ratio which is the portrait ratio on Instagram and then you can just quickly resize the video and a lot of people do this and they leave headway at the top and the bottom just so you can add a catchy text title and some subtitles, which you can also do with this tool, by the way, or you can pretty much just make your video that size. Um, but I am going to click on the back button and have it in the middle here. So I could, let's just say, have some subtitles. Now, this would be for my feed. I'm also just going to quickly add some subtitles. Let's just click on the auto subtitle button and hit start wait for that to subtitle the video. Normally it does it within a few seconds. Here you go, this is done. And I'm just going to make sure the subtitle starts from the beginning. And then I'm just gonna add a text title and I'm just gonna say Instagram, Instagram video for feed. Okay, and I'm literally just gonna select this, place it at the top, change the color, and I'm, I'm not gonna make this amazing, I'm just showing you for an example. So this is Instagram videos for feed, and I have the subtitles here, brilliant. And now I've called this video one for Instagram feed. So if I wanna download that, I can go ahead and click on the download button, and it will render it for me, and then I can download it. Now if I click back to my profile, once I'm back on my profile, I could just hit this one and then duplicate it so I have the exact same video. I click on this, and now I can call it, let's just say video one, for Instagram stories. I'm terrible at writing, sorry here. And what I'm gonna do is just delete the title and then like I showed earlier, I'm gonna resize the video. But first of all, I'm just going to select story. And then again here. Now obviously this video isn't the best for the stories. I could make it the full thing. That's what I'm gonna do actually, make it the full screen. And then there you are again. So this is a video example and here I just wanna show you how to quickly add some subtitles, a lovely progress bar. So there is how you can just quickly recrop it for any social media, for stories, for feed posts, whether that's landscape or portrait. I've also got YouTube. This is a full blown YouTube video. And again, I'm just going to, for my YouTube, I wouldn't necessarily have the subtitles, but what I could do is actually download them as an SRT file. But that is how you quickly crop your video content for the correct social media channels. Once you've done, you just wanna hit download at the bottom. It will then export your video and be ready for you to download. And that is the video. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. That being said, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.